Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for the sign of Scorpio for January 2021. So I hope you well Scorpio. Let's get straight into the reading and pull your Spirit Message card. So what do we have for Scorpio please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Okay, one card turned over. Oh, I really like this Serenity card. So we have serenity the most important relationship you can have is with yourself this is a time to honor nurture and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today i really like the energy here you see this person they're almost kind of like neck high nearly in water but it feels like the water is receding because they're finding their own inner light. It feels like when you're feeling overwhelmed or almost kind of like feeling like you're you're sinking in a situation, this is about reconnecting to your core light, who you truly are. Refocus on you, you know, and not allowing whatever's going on in the external environment to throw you off balance. So it feels a very beautiful energy there, Scorpio. Let's pull you another card. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. And remember, the message from spirit can be something specific. It can just be advice. So let's see what we get for you. Message for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. What was I saying about that light, that inner light? Oh, this is beautiful because we have... My favourite card, number 23, lead the way. Light your own path. This is illumination from within. This is you finding your own light from within and carving out your own path in your own way and not letting any external forces dictate to you or tell you otherwise. It's definitely an energy of regrouping, reconnecting to who you are and the power that you have when you do that you know okay so i'm going to pull three cards the first card is the issue or challenge that you face january 2021 second card is the advice from spirit third card is the outcome should you take the advice and then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message scorpio and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you okay so what do we have, please, angel spirits, guides? What is the message from spirit that Scorpio needs to hear the most, please? January 2021. Thank you. So we have the nine of pentacles. This is your challenge. Six of pentacles is advice from spirit. And the Five of Cups, which is actually Scorpio energy, is your outcome. So can we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Scorpio, please, Angel Spirits Guides. What is the message from spirit that Scorpio needs to hear the most? Thank you. Thank you. So we have the five of wands. The Six of Pentacles, we have the Four of Pentacles. And the Five of Cups, oh beautiful, I love this, we have the Empress. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. Card of Aries, generally for me as a reader, but it is that Mars energy that I'm also seeing, which can be your energy as well, Scorpio. Um, It, it it feels feels very much like you that queen of wands let's let's clarify this queen of wands for scorpio let's clarify this queen of wands for scorpio please angels spirits guides
Thank you. Two of Swords. Yeah, it makes sense. So, it feels in this energy, Scorpio, you're being told to regroup, regroup. Because the, the five of, of wands, it can be a card of, of conflict, disagreements. I mean, it can be heated arguments as well. I mean, it's fire energy, remember? So it, sometimes this is a competitive energy as well if you're competing for something. It feels this challenge has been to do with this nine of pentacles, which is somebody who's standing in their own success, their own abundance, and a feeling of, of being proud, um, their hard work paying off, achieving the goal in terms of where they want to be, where they want to get to. It's very, very good in terms of money career. It's uh, somebody who lacks for nothing, who is in their own material security abundance, and it's what they've managed to manifest. It's the end result of what they wanted to manifest, getting to that goal, that point where they feel uh, financially well off. Uh, there's an energy of luxury about this card. Um, and, and feeling pretty good about it. So we have this five of, of, of wands, which is the struggle. It feels like a struggle. But the six of, of pentacles, which is the advice from spirit, is a card of, it's, it's gonna, you're going to get what you need. It's your time to receive. Um, And it's a nice message in that energy, but it can also be a card of, certainly with the Four of Pentacles, getting little bites of the cherry, but nothing really substantial. It can be an energy of being given little, but not lots, you know? It, it feels in this situation there's been a struggle and it can be an energy of, of what you've been trying to manifest or what you've been trying to work on. If it's been to, to turn your financial and career or job situation around, it feels like you've been given little, it can be a card of things like, uh, you know, uh, little bits, you know, uh, little uh, maybe, uh, some little support, little help. I mean, this can be about receiving charity or this can be about being given um, some help in certain situations, but it's not enough. It's it's not something that feels satisfying, certainly with that four of, 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 of coins energy. It's not enough. It feels like this energy of receiving the kind of breadcrumbs you know, I'm getting breadcrumbs, but I need something substantial here to bring change to my situation. And that's the challenge. There's, there's a kind of feeling of, of things may have happened, but it's not been enough to bring change to your situation. And the struggle continues. Because the five of, of cups is a card of someone who looks at the negative rather and it can be rather than something positive because they're looking with this black cloak at three cups that have spilt on the floor. And, feel, you know, the more they look at those cups, the more empty they feel because the cups are empty. They will not yield anything anymore. And there's a feeling that you can't change the past. And the longer that you continue to focus on it, the more down and more caught in this, 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 depressing mood it will it will generate that more and more so there's an energy with this two of cups is there is still hope in this situation there is still something to move forward for even though it feels like you've probably received some kind of breadcrumbs or things maybe just haven't worked out things were happening and they weren't and you're still feeling stuck in this energy of of being careful maybe with money in this situation and it could be down to the fact that maybe they, I mean, this can be to do with lost jobs. 
Um, it can be also about regretting something as well, regretting a situation, looking back. And while you look back, you're not looking at the hope that's around you, the, the opportunity that's around you, because it feels for some of you there's a window of opportunity here. And the window of opportunity is for you to regroup and to understand that you can't control things that go on in your external environment. Um, but the more that you focus on those three cups that are empty, the negative that's happened to you, the more you'll think. And this is about reconnecting to your light, who you are, your soul light here, because there is an opportunity to turn something around. And it feels like a very powerful turning point will be presented to you here, Scorpio, for you to light your own path, for you to go your own way, um, for you to regroup and reconnect to who you are and find your own light to shine to everybody. So it feels that that's what the energy is here and that's what you're being asked to do. Because the Queen of Wands is somebody who takes decisive action by listening to her intuition. You know, she's a forward-looking energy. She doesn't look back. She is only somebody who will make calculated choices and act in a, an intuitive way on things that are only going to bring her gain. And in this energy, I mean, it could well be, I mean, she can be a charismatic leader as well, offering you something. Could be to do with opportunity or offering you something to help, which is part of this hope. There's still hope in this situation. And the Two of Swords is an energy of not seeing that because somebody is still looking back at what's gone. They're looking at the wrong thing and not seeing the hope that's around them in order to bring gain to your situation now. Um, and that's where you remain stuck. You know, it, it's this kind of energy of, you know, how you're focusing on something will keep you stuck if you're not careful. It, it feels now is the time to make some kind of, trust your intuition, go within and allow yourself to move on from a situation that has been very challenging. I mean, it feels like you've been trying to do that as well, certainly with this kind of like breadcrumb approach, but still feeling to be very careful and, you know, very careful um, with money, um, self-preservation, self-protection, you know, it, it feels in this kind of energy, that it's still not enough. And that's what's making you look back because things just aren't really manifesting. Well, the, the Empress is saying things are about to manifest because she is a card of manifesting something new. She is a lovely energy of having enough, feeling the bounty. So it feels like there is some hope in this situation here, Scorpio. Definitely this Empress, I mean, it could she can be an actual person as well. I mean, it could well be. Again, this Queen of Wands could be a person, a leader, maybe in terms of, it could be in terms of business, for example. Um, and there is the opportunity here to manifest something new, um, to bring bounty back into the situation, to make something grow. She is some, she's about giving birth to something, the birth of something new, very good in terms of money career, you know, that kind of energy. Um, she is a card of incoming abundance. But it feels for some of you, the abundance isn't isn't there because it's to do with something. And it could well be allowing the external environment to dictate to how you feel. And it can be to do with your emotions, your feelings. You know, our emotions, we are made up of, what, 80% water. And the cup's energy is to do with water. Our emotions, our feelings... You know, as human beings, we are made up of 80% water, so we are governed by our emotions. And they can keep us stuck if we're not careful, looking in the wrong direction for as long as we allow them to. She is definitely a forward-moving energy. If there is still hope in the situation to manifest something new, to light your own path. And it feels that's what you're being asked to do by spirit. Don't let whatever's gone on, even though it feels like you've been trying to do something, you've been putting effort into into to, to, to pushing forward and you still don't feel like you're moving on from what's gone on in the past, it feels now is the time to, to again keep on moving forward to regain that light from within, 
because for some of you it feels like this light will be shown to other people in manifesting something new it feels in this situation very good in terms of money career business so there is definitely the promise of something wonderful here and that's what the venus energy does she's venus and taurus uh, you know and that taurus energy is stability security success safety something that you fe i feel that you're working towards here and that venus energy is the promise of that the opportunity of that now um but it's only a promise you have to anchor it with that taurus energy to make it real and the only way you do that is allowing yourself to regroup refocus very much about trusting your intuition as well on how you take action now so it feels very hopeful it feels very hopeful indeed so a final message please oh i'm only going to take the ones that have turned up <laughs> okay there's quite a few there so we have oh my goodness i can't believe that one we'll come to that in a moment we have rabbit sensitive soul strengthen your boundaries and cut cords i love that energy and it's the boundaries of, of you reconnecting to who you are and assessing what energy you allow into your world and what energy doesn't serve you anymore and it's that kind of thing and then we have look at that we've got the bear you are the light it is safe to step fully into your light i mean if you need any more confirmation than that that's what spirit is asking you to do absolutely this month you're being asked to lead the way light your own path don't let external situations dictate who you are or people for that matter so i hope you enjoyed the reading scorpio if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you and i'll see you next time thank you